Hi, it's me, Dylan. I haven't been back for a while because on a very positive note, I've had a new job. So I've been working in the Lush factory in Etobicoke, <clears throat> specifically in the department that produces their bath bombs, the various shaped combinations of bicarb and citric acid powder and other oils and colors and fragrances that will, if you drop them in a bathtub, they go pshh. So that's been occupying Monday to Friday of my days. Uh, seasonal work um, with the possibility of a contract extension at the end of it. But today, the important thing I'd like to bring you is an unboxing. So that's why I have a knife here. Handy dandy little cheese knife for whatever really it's supposed to be. And a box from Create Space. Because Create Space is who I went with for producing the second novel in the Gift Knight trilogy called The Crown Princess's Voyage. So I snipped one side, snipping the other. Came by UPS, just arrived a few minutes ago, and I want to see how the proof copies look. The actual publication date, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This knife is not that sharp. It's working, but uh, the actual publication date is going to be sometime early in May 2017, such as May the 1st. Reason being, I want to have a table at the Ad Astra Oof, convention. I'll put that knife down before I hurt myself. So I want to be at the convention with a table with copies of my book ready. So I also wanted to give time for advanced readers to, uh, to have the opportunity to get six month arcs. So if you know someone who wants six month advanced reader copies, paper packaging might reuse. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? <clears throat> Alrighty then. So, create space. Create space's cover wizard gives us so do these black edges, but that's the price I pay for not cutting off any of the picture or text. Ink looks a little dark, might be the room I'm in. Uh, in the back with its copy. I had Rona do that up for me. Hi, Rona. Rona's my cover artist. She's very, very helpful. Uh, I will read you the back jacket. Who or what anchored her to that palace? Chandra Kenderly is the crown princess of the world's mightiest empire. She has successfully foiled two conspirators, each with different visions of what her empire should be. In the truest testament to her power, Derek, her greatest and most dangerous enemy, has become a loyal personal guard. Sorcery may be nothing more than a people's superstition with little basis in fact, but in the face of such feats, their beliefs only grow stronger. Peace in Kensrick will be short-lived. The people still demand more drastic changes to the way they are governed, and even a prime minister sympathetic to Chandra's plight can't do better than suggest that Chandra flee for her own safety. How wonderfully convenient that an invitation should arrive from a land not even marked on the world maps of the day, suggesting one place where Chandra might not might be not only welcome, but respected. That's what the sender is counting on, the same puppet master who hoped that Lords Merton and Belhoff would get the job done. Alethea has plans to reshape the entire world, and they encompass a dangerous obsession with Derek and Chandra. She knows Chandra must accept that invitation. She knows Chandra will have nowhere else to go and she expects poor bewitched Derek to follow Chandra until Alethea can 
save him from humiliating servitude. The Crown Princess's Voyage is the second book of the Gift Knight trilogy. ISBN 9781539503255 90,000, close bracket, 9781539503255. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to releasing this for you.